sharp. Hi, welcome back to Aid's Little Shed Shop. It's been quite some time since I've been in the shed shop, and let me tell you, it's because we have been unbelievably busy, haven't we, Mrs. S? Yep. But I have managed to get back in here today. Uh, I missed our anniversary. I didn't miss our anniversary. We had a wonderful anniversary meal. But I missed giving Mrs. S her present that I was in the process of making, which included bonding metal to wood. So it's our 22nd anniversary, which is copper. So I wanted to make her something. Okay, Mrs. S, I want to make you a jewelry box. Nice little jewelry box and clad it in copper. So after working out what was needed to make it fix itself to wood, by the way, it was Gorilla Wood Glue. Worked brilliant, doesn't need to be a stupid strong bond just as long as it holds it on there. I did this glue up. This has actually been gluing up for a couple of weeks. So it's been three, four weeks this has been sat here gluing up. Four bloody weeks. And we haven't been able to do this. So today I'm finally going to undo this, keep my fingers crossed, touch a bit of bloody wood, all of it, shed included. Yep. And hope to God this has fixed to the wood and not screwed me. Time to take off the clamps. We were busy with appointments as well. Now let me tell you, if this hasn't worked, I have absolutely ruined, I suppose it's about three years that pattern has been sat on there, waiting for me to do this. Yes, I procrastinate. Who the hell doesn't? Exactly. So I put baking paper between each one so it wouldn't stick to itself. Wow, made it go, yeah, oh, I have no idea if this has worked. It looks very battered, I oh, know you can't see that, but he really does. Is that coming out? Yeah, it looks it's cool dimples. I'm hoping that's where the holes are, them holes, which Possibly. I've got to poke through and then cut all this out. Okay, so the one good thing about this is I know I can clean this copper up. And these two are separate pieces, so that can be cut out. Got the hope it can. Right, so I originally drilled the holes in these, put this pattern on. I couldn't tell you how long ago, but that bloody long ago. Then I thought, right, let's attach the copper because actually this will look quite amazing if this works. Now, as I have already drilled those holes through the wood, I need to get out the drill and just drill the damn holes out. I wonder if hitting them with a hammer will help. No. Yeah. Going in for my first cuts. I tried to flatten the back as much as I can. Wish me luck. Good luck. Because I don't know if this is going to work. I hope to God it does. Separate these. I'm going to cut the outside and see if it actually works. If it doesn't, we'll know after this. Bile over every edge from the looks of it. Shit, this might not work. Damn it! I just cut out this end. I thought, you know what, I'm going to give this a whirl outside rather than doing the interior cuts just to see how it comes out. And guess what? It's fing shit. And it's that simple. Now, I've cut copper out before, but normally what I do is I take a piece of copper and I just sandwich it between like that. And then that gets taped together. I draw a pattern on and I cut it out. I end up with two pieces of wood that is an exact replica of the piece of copper. Now, normally I've never done it this thin or attached it to a piece of wood to try and cut that out. So Mrs. S turned around and she says, well, why don't you do that then? Stick a sacrificial piece of wood to the back of this because cutting this out on its own like this, it's too sharp. I do have this piece of shit here. Good old shipboard. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just chop a piece. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna attach this to this. 
and then I'm going to keep those fingers crossed and hope that I don't have to do so much sanding because some of these pieces are going to be nigh on impossible to sand and if I can't get it or I don't have to sand it it's not a viable project because it's too damn dangerous and I don't want to hurt Mrs Shitshop I love her other than that there is another way and it requires making it all over again but it could be worth a go fingers crossed yes let's see what happens take three let's go Too sharp, but it's not anywhere near as sharp. Hey, much easier. Looks like that might be the way forwards. I don't know why I didn't do it before. I've done it many times before, and it's the normal way that I would do this. I suppose I just got a bit arrogant and thought it'll be fine. This is going to take me a lot, lot longer. I'm going to continue with this. Let's see what happens. of this one panel cut out that's taken ages so far so we've got the other half which is exactly the same as what i just cut out just the opposite and then i have another one of these panels two smaller panels half the size and then the top panel which is very intricate i'm not going to subject you to watching all of that so here it is done okay i haven't actually finished the lid yet yeah the top of this is 72 more cuts to go I do believe and then the outside so 73 or 74 more cuts left to do but I did think oh, excellent right now base done sides done so I thought I'll give it a little dry fit fit this together yeah brilliant now I have a flat piece here instead of having this scalloped end or pointed end because of the hinge at the back now I know this will not fit into here and I've got to do some fettling because it originally was done with and measured up without the copper on. And every time I've made this before, even when I've done it at 3mm I've had to completely re kajigger the holes in the base. So I expected that, no problem. What I didn't expect was to be such an idiot and I cut flat, you know, for the hinge part, the wrong side, I have a flat piece here. And a flat piece here. What an idiot. Absolute idiot. I mean, how stupid can you be? I'm going to have to mark this up. Just pencil. It's in place, so it's not going to be too hard. I'll make sure it's the right bloody one. Flat. Yeah. Chop that bit off there. Make sure it's in. Hopefully, that'll make it look a bit better. How stupid. I mean, rookie error. Rookie error. Idiot. I'm going to carry on. Shit loads more cutting to do. I mean, I've only got 150 cuts in, I think. But yeah, I think it's about 73, 72, 73 more cuts. And now I'm done. Woo! That's why I've been in three different t shirts so far because it's taken me three, three days. Yeah, what with uh, appointments. Um, I mean, Christ, today I had an MRI before I came back and started doing this. Eh. Yeah, I know. I'm going to get. Cutting and finishing. Bloody idiot, what a tool. Fixing my idiotic mistake, then they'll match. What a tool. Who's a tool? You're a tool. Now they look roughly the same. Final bit, laser cuts. Laser holes. Laser cuts. See you in a couple of days. <sighs> that wonderful sheen that I had has kind of gone. I don't know if it comes out on the camera. Around here, ah, I think it does about there. Around here, it's started bloody tarnishing again. And up here, I went all over the place. So, uh, no, it's up here and here, tarnishing. So, shit, it wasn't thick to start with, and it isn't thick now. So I'm busting out 
the 1200 grit. I'm just giving it a light so I can take it back and get through that tarnish. And then, I don't know what the hell that is. And then work through putting it together, getting it finished and spraying up to protect it. Here we go. God, I hope this works. And it's 1200, so it should um, take out some of the scratches. Make it a bit nicer. I don't know. Come back when I've got this done. Oh, glad. Put gloves on. These have now been, oh, lovely, 1200 grid, and then wiped over with white spirits to clean off all that shite. Third pair of gloves now. I don't want a wood edge. Is that right? Yes, so I bought these and what I'm doing with them, getting the boy to do it actually. <laughs> so what I'm doing with them is just coming along the edge of what wood will be exposed. Quite nice. I mean, this is apparently copper. It doesn't really look that copper. So this top edge is exposed. The bottoms will be underneath, so it doesn't really matter too much. And these ends, they need doing. So it's like a paint ink and no painting. So, I'm gonna pass this <laughs> delegation to the boy. Thank you. Finish, good lad. Well, I can continue sanding these nice and smooth. And now to dry. I have just taken these down. They have all been lacquered quite nicely, one might add, twice. So now it's time to put this together. And see what see what it's turned out like hopefully pretty good let's have a look I could put tiny little magnets on there and donk, but I don't. I'm gonna use this bit as a back because there's a little chunk out here. Flat to the back, slight overhang on the front. I'm gonna glue these tiny little hinges on. Yeah, tiny little hinge. And then I'm gonna cut these tiny little nails by half, I think, and I'll just use my drill to put a tiny little hole in and these will just get glued in place. So, have we sort of a mechanical bond? Sort of, but glued. Don't know if it's gonna work. Yeah, well, I don't know if it's gonna work. It might work. Do you know if it's gonna work? So, let me know. Mm, I think Mrs. S will like it anyway, so. Let's see what happens, right? This is the last stage and then it's done. It's taken bloody weeks. My anniversary was, by the time this video goes out, two months ago, it's almost a birthday. <laughs> I'll just buy something for a birthday. It's gonna be a lot easier. <laughs> yeah, right, let's get cracking. Glue, we'll go the CAUK thick, yes. Activator, yes. Make it go like rock. And then drill, glue. Forty-five in from the end, yeah. There. Okay, I don't think that was the right way to do it. Let's try uh, this one. Little tiny nails. Let's make it smaller. About a few minutes, six and feet on. Okay, here goes. That is that done. Whoops. Now, this has had four. This has had four coats of lacquer now. Uh, so, hopefully, this copper is nicely protected and it's all nice and glassy smooth, even the wood on the inside, and yeah, I thought it was quite good. 
the underside I've put some feet on it just some little felt feet but I think it looks pretty good and I think Mrs Shed Shop is going to love this as it is her anniversary present it's a little bit late but it's okay because she understands we have been extremely busy I hope you've enjoyed watching the video and if you have please like subscribe click for notifications and we'll see you again soon thank you for watching <laughs>